protecting the financial industry, but doing it to a blue collar manufacturing industry is somehow not right, and we have to look at the uh, uh, wage scale, et cetera. Maybe, maybe I'm denser, so Mr. Wagner. I don't quite understand what the hell you just told me. Do, can you just tell me in absolute terms how much money do you need to survive, General Motors, from today until March 30th? Uh, Congressman, it's going to depend on what happens with suppliers in markets. I, I understand it. Give me your worst case scenario. The worst case scenario, the amount of money would be significant. I mean, we have we have suppliers. What is significant, Mr. Five billion dollars every month. So, you, so what you're telling us that since credit. you anticipate borrowing 15 to 18 billion dollars under this authorization, you'll if the market doesn't turn around. And, and the economy doesn't recover by that time. And I think you have to be a wishful thinker to think it will. By March 30th, you're out of money. Is that correct? The analysis that we've done is based on an assumption that the U.S. market continues at about the current rate, which is a weak level. We don't assume a lot of recovery. We, don't, we hope it won't get worse. I on that basis, we would, uh, with the amount of funding that proportionally would presumably be allocated to us, we think we have a good shot to make it through next year. Mr. Chairman and members of this committee, I, I certainly appreciate the opportunity to be here today. The overall amount and cost of financing the restructuring would be significantly higher in a Chapter 11 process than the working capital bridge that we're requesting here today. And finally, we cannot be confident that we'll be able to successfully emerge from bankruptcy. I appreciate the opportunity to be here representing the Ford Motor Company. We at Ford are hopeful that we have enough liquidity, but we also must prepare ourselves for the prospect of further deteriorating economic conditions in 2009. In addition, the collapse of one of our competitors would have a severe impact on Ford and our transformation plan because the domestic auto industry is highly interdependent. It would also have a devastating ripple effect across the entire U.S. economy. I have been struck, not happily, in uh, the time that we've been discussing this, uh, what frankly seems to me an inherent cultural bias. There's a double standard here. Aid to blue collar employees is being judged by a standard different than white collar employees. Mr. President. The majority leader. Congress need do nothing. Treasury can put whatever restrictions they choose on that. So I hope that we can pass legislation to aid the auto industry this next day or two, that uh, if we can't do it here legislatively, I would hope that the Secretary of Treasury would listen long and clear, because they could take this into their own hands and do what I think is appropriate from their perspective. Good morning. Well, Senator Reid appeared to foreshadow this morning that the Congress will fail to address uh, this issue before uh, they leave. And I'd like to just make a few points clear on that. One, there's legislation that's being introduced by Senators Bond and Voinovich that the administration supports. Uh, that proposal would redirect existing funds already appropriated for the auto industry, rather than spending an additional $25 billion on top of the $25 billion we already support.